Hello there, my very good friends. On today's After News, we have some reports to cover on Shane McMahon's complicated status in WWE. Alexa Bliss has indeed been written off WWE TV. A top star may be out of the 2021 WWE draft. And the real reason Randy Orton missed Monday Night Raw this week. I'm Adam Wilborn. And I'm Andy Murray. And this is the After News. Hey, we're going to kick things off by talking about Shane McMahon. He's all elite, guys. <laughs> very interesting. They finally signed the best in the world. <laughs> uh, the, a very interesting report came out last night. Mm. Uh, Raj Giri of Wrestling Inc. and Fightful had both heard that Shane McMahon was no longer under WWE contract. That's interesting considering his status within the company, of course. Uh, Fightful, however, have since been informed after inqui inquiring with WWE representatives that Shane is still a contracted talent. So there was a lot of confusion going around last night. Uh, a lot of people wondering what the hell's going on with Shane. That is the latest. That is what we have here from Fightful Select. Uh, and despite this, whatever's going on, Shane is rarely, if ever, at WWE offices these days. So he's been quite sporadic the past few years, Shane, right? Um, not as regular on screen as he had been in the aftermath of his return in 2016. He was most recently around for that feud that existed between him and Braun Strowman heading into WrestleMania 37. That was sick uh, when you were at the side of the cell there. Yeah, the goo. The, it was good worth it gunge. in the end, but only just. The gunge, mate. The gunge. Um, uh, yeah, that... that I've it was sick, in the words of <laughs> Shane Man. Sick! <laughs> I've totally lost my train of thought. Raw here. Underground. Uh, Raw Underground. Sweaty man, Shane McMahon. Um... Yeah, so his future was kind of in the balance last night a little bit. A little bit of debate, but it seems he's still under contract. It'd be weird if he left, um, but not completely, I guess, a total huge thing. Because he's not really an executive anymore, is he? No, exactly. And I'm absolutely fine with him not stepping between the ropes for quite some time, if I'm yeah. perfectly honest. It always winds me up. Like, don't get me wrong, I was popping out of my chair when he first came back and interrupted that weird Vince McMahon Senior Award or whatever it yeah. was. And then I was like, oh, he's facing The Undertaker. <laughs> What's the lockbox? Okay, we're just not going to. Oh, right, okay, yeah, maybe it could be a, a good uh, you know, sign of change in WWE. Oh, no, no, he's just he's just jumping off stuff and making people think that all the other wrestlers are crap because all he has to do is turn up for one show a year, fall off some at big, and people go, wow, what a wrestler <laughs> that guy is. No, that's not how it works. And then he did Raw Underground for a bit and he went, oh, that's sick. And then, uh, yeah, he, he said, uh, you're st 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 stupid or whatever it was to Braun Strowman, <laughs> uh, which really got him over just in time for him to be released. Uh, look, <laughs> I have no idea what's going on with, with Shane McMahon, but uh, I just kind of want him to be all elite now. Just, I mean, it'd be <laughs> awful for AEW, but the graphic is hilarious. The best in the world is all elite. Screw you, Brian Danielson. <laughs> uh, I like the graveyard dogs. That's my, uh, those are my thoughts on, on recent Shane McMahon That's, ring yeah, activities. He's I like that match. it for the graveyard dog, yeah. so okay. That was good, that was good. All right, let's move on and talk about Alexa Bliss. We sort of reported on this earlier on in the week, but it's now been confirmed by PW Insiders Mike Johnson that what happened at Extreme Rules and Lily being ripped to pieces and Alexa Bliss foaming at the mouth with the alcohol in her mouth, uh, was a way to write her off TV. She is gone. Uh, she's going to undergo sinus surgery. And there's no word for exactly how long she is going to be gone from WWE. But yes, it's looking like we aren't going to see Alexa Bliss on our screens for a while. And fingers crossed, Andy, when she does come back, she's not a child with a doll. Yeah, yeah. I think like... This is a good opportunity to maybe think about repackaging her, isn't it? Because yeah. the doll Lily was torn to pieces by Chaz Flair. Didn't expect the Charlotte Flair babyface turn at Extreme <laughs> Rules, but that happened. Alexa was crying in the ring for a while. I think Charlotte caught a promo afterwards where she was like, no, I want to remind Alexa that she can be a champion. She doesn't have to be spooky no. uh, and weird. Um, so maybe that'll be the route that they go down. Uh, either way, best wishes to her in her recovery. And... Uh, Speaking of... Yeah, uh, sin sinus problems suck. I had them yeah. like one summer when I was about 16, and honestly, it was hell. So best luck yeah. there in her recovery. But when she comes back, Andy, who knows? Hey. Sort of, yeah. Seamus knows. No stuff. <laughs> Look at that segue. Knows content. Uh, yeah, Seamus, he's, he's, he's goosed for a bit as well. Uh, he's absolutely goosed. Um, <laughs> He's had nose surgery, hasn't he, the silly sausage? So he broke his nose back in June. He was wrestling Umberto Carrillo on Raw. 
had surgery for it then. Oh, yeah, that was a was it a back elbow? Or I think something? it was an elbow. Yeah, Ooh. he came back a couple of weeks later and he broke it again. <laughs> the poor guy. That's why he's been wearing the mask. When he took the mask off against Damian Priest, and was that triple threat last week? There was a match last week where he took the match off and his nose was all weird and stuff. Uh, yeah, was it when he was facing Hardy to get Hardy in the match? That's right. And then, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what it was. I, I, blah, blah. It all blurs into one. Let's it be does. Honest. It does. You watch so much wrestling, it all becomes a mulch. Mm. Uh, but yeah, he took his mask off. It looked a bit weird last week, and he. This week, he wrestled Damian Priest in one of the hardest hitting matches that was in, amazing, in yeah. recent memory. Did it with a broken nose, but now he is taking the time off. As he said himself on Twitter, surgery, everything else, got that thing fixed up, however. The key thing to all of this is that PW Insider's Mike Johnson is reporting that we shouldn't expect him to be involved in the WWE draft as a result of this. Looks like Sheamus is going to be out for a little while. You know, protecting that, what's a funny word for a nose? Beak, I guess. <laughs> Prote Onk. Protecting his hooter for a little while. And uh, look, I think Sheamus is one of the toughest guys in wrestling, if not alive. He's 43 years old. He has these brutal hard-hitting matches, especially by WWE standards. We were talking yesterday in the office about how much we'd love to get pissed with him as well. I, I, God, that, that's the thing though. Like, it'd be such a short night, wouldn't it? Because Sheamus will put away 30 pints. <laughs> you, you'll, you'll then it'd be the half time in the Liverpool game and yeah, we'd be on the floor. Yeah, well, you'd have contracted alcohol poisoning by full time. <laughs> It, crazy, but yeah, I love Seamus. We always talk about how much we like Seamus on this channel. Yeah. And uh, again, like Alexa, all the best in his recovery. Yeah, for those of you concerned about global warming, good news, because I've got an Adam Wilborn recycled tape to come through. <laughs> Did the spin and everything, because, yeah, I always say this when people get injured, but I'm not glad that they're injured, but I'm glad that they're going away for a while, so I'll miss, the, I'll miss them, and then when they come back, I'll be excited. Look. Where would Sheamus go now? He's literally just lost another US title thing with, with Damian Priest. Unless he loses upwards into the title picture, which he's already feuding around with Drew McIntyre. That's right. He's kind of lost. Maybe he could have moved shows, yes, but he's been on TV a lot. And then he was on SmackDown. I can remember the piss stuff a while back. So he, has, <laughs> oh, yeah. he has been on both shows a lot. I think it's best for him to go away for a bit. Like you say, I think, we think oh. he's one of the most underrated wrestlers in WWE. Of all time, I'd say. And I'd have him go away and come back with his nose fixed and with a, a new emphasis and what have you. And maybe he doesn't need to bring the hat and the jacket back. I'm just saying. You could probably leave those at home, but for sure. regardless, yeah, like you say, get well soon and uh, we wish him well in his recovery. And a blessing in disguise, as I always say with injury storylines. Uh, not in a storyline, injuries in reality. Uh, let's conclude though, talking about another injury to Randy Orton. This again, coming from PW Insiders, Mike Johnson. Um, he was missing from Monday Night Raw because of not being cleared to perform. Now, there is no word as to whether this is going to be a thing where he's going to be back next week, whether he's going to be back on bloody SmackDown for the draft or whatever. No word on that, but he was simply not cleared to perform, which is why Riddle went out there and said, it was no Randy. Yeah. I'm going to dedicate this match to Randy. And then he got his arse handed to him because he was on his own. Of course, he's one half of the tag team champions. I do hope that this doesn't affect the storyline going forward with RK Bro, because yeah. it's been great. Yeah, it's been really good. Uh, Randy Orton has had a good year. He's had a good year character-wise and in-ring-wise and everything else. Uh, hope that whatever's afflicting him isn't too bad. Uh, yeah, man. Like, there's not really much more to no. add to this, I don't think. Like, I've enjoyed Randy's work for the most part this week. Uh, I love his facial hair. Uh, let's go. Let's I hope it doesn't here. affect him going forward, because like I say, the, the storyline with RK Bro has been great. The inevitable turn we can all see coming is going to set up a fantastic match between the two of them. And, you know, we could potentially get RK Bro versus The Usos or something like that, a Survivor Series. Yeah. That could be entertaining. Um, and then, yeah, it's just clearly going to be a spot in the Rumble, probably, where yeah. where Riddle can't eliminate Randy because they're best mates and Randy doesn't give a toss. <laughs> Randy just goes, get the hell out of here, you little so-and-so. Are they going to try and get that, keep that going until Mania in terms of the blow-off of those I, two? Uh, Mania 2029, 20, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think Mania makes a lot of sense. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah, like we say, uh, get well soon, Randy. And, this was uh, quick. Do we need to pad it out anymore? I think so. I think we flew tell, through it. Tell a joke, mate. Um, what type of bees make milk? Foggy bummer. Boobies. There you go. Oh, That's wow. my favourite joke ever. Foggy bummer is a Doric Aberdonian word for bee. So I'm really glad you explained teach that. Teach you some other ones. No, nope, um, we're good. We are absolutely do fine. Do you want to know what a puddock is? Do I? A frog? A futrit How, is a what's ferret. A, what's, what's like a crazy frog then? Bow, bow.
We've been in here too long. I think we're running out of oxygen. Let it's a know. small studio yeah. with no ventilation. We're not going to do Twitter questions because it's too dangerous. <laughs> uh, let us know your thoughts on we all of those GP die. stories in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And subscribe to What Culture Wrestling, wherever you get your podcasts from, for daily wrestling podcasts. Of course, our AEW Dynamite review coming later on today. And if you haven't checked it out already, check out our previous news video from earlier on today for all the AEW Dynamite news. Uh, you can also let us know your thoughts and Twitter questions on Twitter at What Culture. WWE. Why well, should they follow both of us? You can follow Andy Murray at. Follow me at Andy H. Murray, and the H today stands for Hit Me Up for more inspired Aberdonian words like Foggy Bummer, Bumblebee, Puddock, Frog, Futrit, Ferret, and whatever else you want in life. Follow me at Adam Wilmore. <laughs> follow us all at What Culture WWE. But for now, my thanks, to Andy Murray. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you soon. See you later, you bunch of neeps. <laughs>